If you're looking for rugged board solutions, 80Link has some of the ones that you want to find, especially with your new VPX board. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, Bill. There is a bit of actually history that Adalink has already in the uh, ruggedized embedded space mm -hmm. from our board products of um, P204, ETX, and ComExpress, but also conduction cooled 3 and 6U compact PCI boards. So now in the next phase of evolution of those applications, we have adopted a, we have decided to develop the VPX 2000, which is our first generation VPX compatible blade featuring a Intel third generation core processor. We feature a quad core and a low power dual core as choice, mm -hmm. as well as Gigabit Ethernet's dual video output, 8 gig of memory on board, 16 gig of uh, SSD storage, and an XMC site so you can expand it with XMC cards in a 3U format. So the VPX 2000 is VPX compatible. We designed it for Open VPX standard. It features a third generation Intel Core i7 processor with quad core but also low power dual core options. It has one XMC site as well as up to 8 gigabyte of soldered memory and an option for 16 gigabyte flash drive. Besides gigabit Ethernet, dual video output, serial ports. Well, what are some of the application areas where we're going to find this used? VPX finds its way into the truly ruggedized applications, such as you know, unmanned vehicles, airborne equipment, as well as ground vehicles, and also shipboard. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of this uh, particular series, this is just the start of something that uh, you expect to expand into a number of other boards as well. Yes, I mean, this is the beginning of a new line for AdiLink, so this is not just a one-off. This will be a continued approach, mainly on the CPU side, probably also at a switch selection time. What are some of the design challenges that you ran into? Um, obviously, you're using Intel's latest, so what has AVX support? It's going to be rather substantial in terms of power consumption. Yes, power management is an issue and is a challenge. So one is for the right temperature range, you have to find the right parts, mm -hmm. design your power supplies properly so they do perform reliably at those extreme temperatures. And then, then you have to manage to get the heat out of, away from the CPU and into the cooling system. VPX has a, has a uh, improved conduction cooling method compared to previous generations. So that problem has been addressed, at least on the mechanical side. Well, excellent. Well, thank you very much for showing us your latest. Thank you, Bill.